Hey, Valimar. Hello, Reed. I came to see how you were holding up. Sure was a surprise when you offered, but thanks for volunteering to serve as a lookout. <laughs> not a problem. Perhaps you and your friends have influenced me to some degree. Each and every one of you have come a long way to take this place back. I simply wish for you to be able to dedicate this evening to celebrating that achievement. <laughs> thanks. You know, looking back, I never figured the day would come when I'd be able to have a natural conversation with you like this. You've changed a lot in that regard. You've gone from sounding mechanical to... dignified, I suppose. I've been working to gradually recover my memories over time. And while still fragmented, I am now able to recollect specific memories from my past. Really? Does that mean you remember some of what happened before you went to sleep in the old schoolhouse? Correct. I went to sleep 250 years, 128 days ago. And my previous awakener was a man known as Drykles Rysay Arner. Wow. So it really was Drykles, huh? I had my suspicions when I saw that memory in the last shrine, but I didn't want to assume. I believe you resonated with the memories that reside within the proving grounds. Drykles visited the spirit shrines as you did. In each one, he obtained the same ore with which to forge his weapon, advanced upon the same capital, and it was there, with many allies at his side, that he laid the war to rest in one final confrontation. It's kind of eerie how similar our paths are, but it makes me feel a little self-conscious too, in a way. I doubt we're doing all this half as well as he did. What kind of person was he, anyway? Hmm. He was an open-minded, composed, and driven man, full of bravery and daring, and in some ways, an enigma. Yet for those he met, he was ever kind and merciful. He had dignity in measure with his stature, and still at times, one could see in his eyes the glimmer of a child's. <laughs> He was really something, wasn't he? Hearing you talk about him, I don't know if I could be anything like he was. But maybe if I were, I'd be able to do more for everyone. There is little need in striving to be something you are not. Huh? Since my awakening, I have watched over you. I have seen you grow as a person. Dragles found success in playing to his strengths. You, though different, possess strengths no less great. Just as he attracted his own supporters, so too have you gained those who would choose to stand by your side and no other. Take pride in those who would become your sword, for not even kings can buy the world to you of her. Uh. Thanks, Valimar. You're right. I should focus on improving myself as I am, rather than try to become someone I'm not. Seeing as how I'm fighting for my future and to bring home my friend, it wouldn't make sense to be anyone else, really. Oh, yeah. It sounds like the Tachi will be done by morning. So if you're up for it, I think we should test it out tomorrow. I'll be counting on you, Valimar. I shall do all within my power. I didn't think you would already be here. Hey, Laura. Did you finish taking care of things then? 
I believe so. It truly does feel strange to be back here, though. It's been a long road to return here, and yet, return we did. This building holds so many memories for us, I couldn't even begin to count. It sure does. Well, while we're here, you want to walk around inside for a bit? I'm curious how things are upstairs, too. Sure, I'd like that. why, but there was a little part of me that expected to find Crow here waiting for us. I mean, not literally expect, but there was just a little voice in my head going, what if, while walking around. I can hardly blame you. I felt the same. Instead, he's another obstacle we have to overcome. One of many. Yeah. Still, we've been able to face every challenge that's come our way up till now. Why wouldn't our fight to bring Crow home be the same? <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. Nothing stands a chance at declaring victory over Class 7's combined might. Or our two swords. Speaking of... Reen. I realize I've asked this once before, but... Do you like the path of the sword? Hearing that brings back memories. You really caught me off guard when you asked me that back in Keldic. Any reason it's on your mind again? <laughs> I was just curious. It feels as though after our impending battle, things will never be the same. And so before that happened, I wanted to hear your answer one more time. For all I know, that answer's changed. Ah, oh, right. Well, it hasn't. My answer's exactly the same now as it was then. Swordsmanship is like a part of me. It's always been there. And it always will be. It's not a case of liking it or not, it's just... part of who I am. Both my swordsmanship and my sword are me, in a way. Maybe you'll be happy to know that my feelings on the subject haven't changed either. My stance and my resolve are the same as they ever were. I stake my pride my soul, my very being on my blade, and wield it to attain ever greater heights. That is what it means to me. Why I value it above all else. Or, so I say, I'm conflicted to tell you the truth. Conflicted? About what? In both my time at the Academy and during these past few weeks of fighting alongside one another, I seem to have found something else just as precious to me. Are you suggesting... I've now discovered a new reason to fight. One that differs from the reason I've fought for all this time. And that reason gives me more courage and power than I've ever felt before. Never could I have imagined there would be anything that would mean as much to me as my path of the sword. At least... Not until I met you. Laura? Reen. I... I think I love you. At first, we were just friends, but now I see you as something far more. That's why I need to know. Do you... Uh, do you feel the same way about me, too? <laughs> I wanted to be the one to say it first, but it looks like you beat me to it. I always figured that as a man, it'd end up being my job. S sorry that was presumptuous of me. I'm simply not used to these sort of things. No, don't worry. You've got nothing to apologize for. I've always admired you ever since our first day here. Your swordsmanship is so elegant, strong, and beautiful that I couldn't help but be captivated by it. And by you. You're as strong as you are reliable, but that feminine side you show from time to time is adorable too. I'm always happy to be part of our class, 
But having a place where the two of us can better ourselves makes me happiest of all. Truly? I love you too, Laura. Even after we graduate, I want to keep walking alongside you, following the path of the sword. And I hope that we one day reach those heights we're aiming for. But together. <laughs> I'm glad I finally got the chance to say it. It would make me this happy to hear you say you love me. <laughs> My face feels like it's on fire from blushing so much. <sighs> I feel the same way, you know. We've got no way of knowing what the future holds in store for us, but we can't let a war like this stand in our path. Like you said, we have a lot of obstacles to overcome. And by overcoming ours, we'll prove we're capable of so much more. Yeah, we will. May we both wear the way of the sword proudly, and together protect our friends and our future.
students have gathered. Understood. <laughs> Don't you worry. We'll take good care of them. Just leave them to us. Lionheart be with you all. And please, come back here safe and unharmed. Our objective is to rescue His Majesty the Emperor, as well as those who were captured with him. Everyone, move out! Right. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> 